Yo, what's up everybody? It's Superfly Fat Guy 59 coming at you again. So, um basically I wanted to uh I wanted to try cigar smoking. Um I've smoked uh the Jarms or the Jarm or however you pronounce it. Um clove cigars or cigarettes. They used to be called Cretex cigarettes and now they're called uh, clove cigars. But I used to smoke them. Well, actually, I still do on occasion, but I used to smoke them pretty heavily. Um, kind of backed away from those and then started uh, the Marlboro Snus thing. I'm trying to get out of that uh, slowly but surely, but um, I wanted to try cigars. I mean, you're not inhaling, so I guess it would be a little bit better on your breathing, but you know, you're still got at risk for gum disease and mouth cancer and everything else. But um, at any rate, I went ahead and uh, I went to a store that um, is close to where I used to live at uh, in Newport, Kentucky. And um, it's called Party Source. Sorry, my fading out is uh, slow on this camera. but So it's called Party Source. And I, I joined their little cigar club. Um, there's where they're located. And uh, thepartysource.com if you want to check them out. And this is what I picked up. Now, I'm a very amateur. I mean, these are the first cigars I've ever smoked, like actual cigars that weren't cheap-ass, like, dollar-a-piece type cigars, okay? <clears throat> there was a guy that was actually in the, uh, in the humidor. Uh, you know, the walk-in humidor, and um, I told him, I said, dude, I'm like, I'm very green when it comes to this, so I have no idea. Um, I seen, I think it was uh, Cutlery Lover used one of these punches in one of his uh, videos, so I wanted to get one, but basically it's just a little rod that goes inside of this, and this is the actual punch, and you just punch it in there, and then when it gets stuck in there, uh, I don't know. I, I I blew on the end of this thing and just shot it out like a like a spitball in a in a uh, straw. <laughs> but um, anyway, I I I took a list of a couple things that I got on you know on YouTube here, and then I took a couple um, suggestions from the guy that was in there, and this is kind of what I came up with. So um, this here. And I'm probably going to butcher all of these, but it says Carlos Tarano, Exodus 1959. Okay. Um, I really don't know. I paid $560 for it. Um, I don't know ring gauges and sizes and all that jazz, so uh, I don't know. I, I guess it's like five inches or something. I'm not sure. Um, then I picked up. A Rocky Patel Sumatra, and I paid five dollars and ten cents for that one. Then I picked up Romeo e Giulietta, and um, it says made in the Dominican Republic, Romeo's Court. And to be honest with you, that's already gone, and. Um, I hope they're not all like that because it was, it was like smoking. Uh, I mean, I didn't inhale, of course, but it was like smoking, uh, like, <laughs> like firewood or something. A buddy of mine, because uh, we went and bought cig uh, cigars together, but he smoked this one here. <laughs> oh, and another thing too, just all, real, real quick, off, off the top of my head, Cutlery Lover, if you watch this, how come all these damn things smell like a hamster cage? Or, or a rabbit cage or something with that like bedding crap that's on the bottom of it like before they shit all over the place it all smells like hamster cages I don't know but um I don't know it was just something interesting I wanted to try I might you know I might smoke all these and then say to hell with it this isn't for me and I'm not gonna do it and I think that's kinda what I'm leaning towards cuz if, if they're all like this one and I don't know I don't know what I paid for this one because the sticker's not on it, but I think it was like like six and a quarter, I think, six twenty-five. Um, but anyway, if they're all like that, this probably won't be for me. It's not a it's not an enjoyable thing 
to me. I mean, it was, it literally tasted like I was smoking like campfire wood. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try again tonight. Uh, but let me go ahead and um, show you the other ones. I got the Oliva or Oliva Siri G. Um, I'm not even sure. Oh, there you go. Six and a half by 52 torpedo. And this one doesn't have the price on it either. Uh, but I think I paid like five bucks or somewhere around there for that one. And then this is a uh, cutlery lover suggestion. Um, OS or well, the CAO. Uh, I guess it's OSA or OSA Soul. Saint August, August, Augustin, <laughs> Augustin. Hell, I don't know. I'm, I don't understand any of that. <laughs> but uh, let's see. This one is a five five by fifty, I think. Yeah, five by fifty. So if that's a five by fifty, then this one here should be. Oh, okay, so it's, I guess it's a 5 by 50 also. It looks like it's the same thing. <laughs> so anyway, I mean, as you can tell, I'm very green with all this. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I'm going to give it a shot, and hopefully I like it. Hopefully I like it better than this one. But uh, this was a suggestion by the fella um, that was at Party Source. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a whirl tonight and see what I like about it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this, one, this uh, video here off, and then... I'll come back and just give you a minute or two of what I thought about it, and then uh, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'll be back in a minute. All right, folks, this is my extremely amateur uh, conclusion <laughs> to the Carlos Toronto. Um, to make it short and sweet, it was better than the. Romeo and Julieta, but uh, overall it just wasn't it, it wasn't what I'm looking for. I don't know, maybe what I'm thinking I want uh, isn't out there because it again it had another like extremely woodsy taste. Um, I guess that's the t the tobacco, but um, I got a slight uh, sweet taste after this one. It was kind of um, kind of cinnamon cinnamon y <laughs> Um, but, but overall, I didn't really like it. I probably won't buy another one. Um, and to be honest, I'm, maybe I'm just, maybe this isn't, you know, I'm not cut out for this. Maybe this isn't something I'm looking for. I just figured it'd be fun to try something different. Um, I'm really excited to try this one, though. I've I seen, uh, Cutlery Lover's, uh, review on that one. So I really want to try that one. I'm kind of excited about that one, too. I've seen his review about that one also. This one, uh, not so much, only because uh, my little brother and his girlfriend uh, bought uh, this same one last night also, and that's the one that they smoked last night when I smoked the uh, the Romeo, and um, <clears throat> they didn't have much to say about it. So I'm not too anxious to try that one, but you know I'm definitely gonna smoke it. I bought it, um, but overall, uh, maybe this isn't this isn't for me. Um, I'm not too sure yet, though. I'm still going to look. Like I said, if I like this one, then maybe I'll continue the journey. But if I don't like any of these three, I'll probably just uh, call it quits here and and um, keep this as a reminder that I don't like cigars. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching.